To date, the most popular video on this YouTube channel is the first video I ever posted about how I sell thousands of books on TikTok. But things have changed since I posted that video in 2022, so today I am bringing you a new and updated TikTok tutorial for creatives. TikTok is still one of the best platforms to be on for creatives looking to sell their creative products, so if you are not yet on TikTok, I highly recommend it. Before I get started, I want to say that it is really up to each individual to decide what social media platforms are best for them and do your research. So if TikTok is available to you, I highly recommend that you jump in and give it a try, knowing that while there are a lot of videos out there that will tell you you can sell thousands of books tomorrow, that's not what you're going to find here. It took me a few months to start seeing a slight increase in sales and continue to grow from there, but it isn't instant and it takes dedication and consistency to start seeing results. Yes, you can go viral right away, which is awesome and I've seen it happen, but it's not super, super common at this point. So I don't want to give you the wrong impression that this is going to be an easy way to make a ton of sales quickly, but it can be done. One of my most popular videos sold me 7,000 books within a couple of weeks, getting over 10 million views on that video. So if something like that happens to you, you certainly can sell a lot in one time, but the great thing about TikTok also is that it brings you a gradual stream of new people exposed to your book or your creative work, and it becomes a steady increase in sales, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and dive into the content of this video, which is going to be the updates that have happened since my last video on this topic, some video ideas and examples for you, and just my top tips on having a successful video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Shelby Lee, and I am a marketing coach for creatives. I have worked with over 2000 authors, musicians, artists, and more to help them sell more on social media. As an author myself, I have over half a million followers on social media and have sold over 50,000 books in just the last two years using organic social media strategies. So I'm excited to jump into this video and share my top tips with you. So the first thing you're going to do is start your account. Now, something that has been newer that I've seen more and more lately is people starting a new account and immediately starting to post and TikTok kind of categorizing you as a bot or fraud account and banning that person from the platform. And I don't like seeing this because that obviously doesn't mean that every person starting a new account and immediately starting to post is a bot or a fraud account. But I do recommend at this point that you make your account and you do spend a few days at least to engage with other people and get a feel for the platform, especially if this is your first account. What I like to recommend doing is once you create your account, you can choose between business or personal. Business is going to have more options such as analytics that are great. However, there is less access to all music in the music library, and that's because businesses promoting their projects should not be using non-commercial music for promotion. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So it's really up to you which one you want to choose and kind of know that you could potentially be using music that isn't licensed for commercial use with a personal account. After you've made your account, you're going to add your profile picture, which should be a nice engaging photo of you that fits kind of the vibe of your genre or the vibe of your work. And then you're going to write your bio, which there's not a ton of space for, but typically I recommend a mission statement. I've talked about this before, so I won't dive into it too much, but I'll link a video that talks about mission statements. So you can watch it after this one. Then search for your genre or your category. If you're a musician, you can try searching for your genre of music. If you're an author, search for your genre of books. If you are an artist, try searching for other artists and see what comes up. Take a look through the content, get a feel for the different styles because there are so many different ways you can make an engaging video on TikTok and just start scrolling through. You can like videos that you like, leave comments on videos that you enjoy, and start following people as well. Now, I also wanna note that following hundreds or thousands of people right away might also trigger the TikTok algorithm and make them think that you are a bot trying to follow thousands of people at once. So don't go too hard on following a bunch of people, but it is good to get a little bit of engagement going right off the bat. Plus, it will also teach you about the types of content that works well on TikTok. So after you've done that, it's time to make your first video. And I wanna talk about a few different video types that are common for creatives. 
that have changed slightly since my first video that I posted. Now, some of them are still the same. There's page flips, there's spine flips, and I'm going to link that first video I ever filmed so you can watch that and get a sense of those types of videos that work well. But there's also other types as well. So I'm going to talk about those. The first one is get ready with me type videos that are more like mini vlogs of different clips that you put together. And these can work really well for people who have a creative process that they want to show. So a lot of artists will show the behind the scenes kind of time lapse of them creating a project. So you could do a get ready with me to create my new painting, for example, and film yourself in a time lapse doing that video and put together maybe multiple clips of you setting up the studio and cleaning up afterwards. So it's like a mini vlog. And the same could apply to your writing process or whatever type of creative process you do. So that's definitely a very popular get ready with me style video. The next style of video that I see most often with authors versus other types of creatives is going to be the aesthetic video, which is stock images or videos all put together that represent your book well, the visuals of your book. So you'll want to get stock images or videos from license free websites such as Unsplash or Canva or Pixabay or Pexels to name a few and find pictures or videos that fit well with your genre, with the vibe of your books. And then you'll put them together in a quick clip with some music that's fitting from the TikTok music library. And you'll also want to add text on the video that describes the book. Now I've done an entire video on creating hooks for your book and how to really find strong hooks. So I'm going to link that video for you as well to watch after this one if you need some help with your hooks. And while we're on the subject of hooks, let me go ahead and just explain what that is if you're unfamiliar. So with short form video, which you'll find on Instagram reels, Facebook reels, YouTube shorts here on YouTube and TikTok videos as well, you really need to capture attention in the first second or you're going to lose people. And so that first second is called your hook. What actually gets people to stop and watch the video, which could be your visuals. It could be text on the video that you've added within TikTok. It could be the sound, maybe you're voicing over the video and say something that makes people stop. Typically a mix of two or more is going to be a solid hook. And that's something that you really want to practice and nail your hooks because that's really what's going to get people to watch the video, which increases your watch time, which tells TikTok that you're making engaging content that they will show to more and more people. So that's why that's really important is you want people to stop while they're scrolling their feed. So experiment a lot with your hooks, no matter what type of video you're making, and eventually you'll start to pick up on patterns and realize what is working well for you and what is not. There's also been new types of posts such as carousels, which are similar to Instagram where you can post a few photos and people can swipe through them. You can still add a text hook to these types of carousels. So people are hooked and they want to scroll through the rest of the photos. This is one that I've been using quite often and it sometimes really takes off. So I encourage you to try them if you haven't yet. They also introduced text posts only earlier this year, which was surprising to me because it's such a video platform. It has been slow to take off because people want that fast paced, exciting video on TikTok. So you might find that you try text posts only and doesn't really work super well. I've tried a couple so far and haven't had great results, but if you are just starting out on TikTok and are feeling kind of the weight of having to create videos, I think it's worth trying. But of course you do have to have something engaging about the text post for it to work. Something else that is newer to TikTok is TikTok Shop, which has been pushed so much by TikTok. They introduced this to compete with Instagram Shop, where you can buy things directly on the TikTok app without having to leave the platform, which is ideal for TikTok, who doesn't want people to leave and see more ads and so on and so forth. So if you are interested in selling your products directly to your consumers and shipping out those products, you should definitely try TikTok shop because TikTok is really pushing accounts out to more people that are using TikTok shop. So there are definitely authors seeing success 
and artists selling their artwork directly through TikTok. So certainly give it a shot. TikTok will take a commission of those sales that you make and you'll get the remaining, of course, as well. If the whole thought of TikTok makes you feel overwhelmed and you're unsure about starting, I want to give you a couple reassurances about how TikTok works so you know that it is not as time consuming as you might think it is. The first thing that is wonderful about TikTok and a lot of the short form video platforms is that you can certainly repurpose your content quite a bit. Now, this does not mean posting the exact same video over and over again, but this does mean that you can reuse hooks that have worked well in the past. You can reuse visuals that have worked well in the past. So I have certain pages of my books, for example, that do really well most of the time. And so I'll repeat those every couple months. Or if I find a hook that works, I'll use the same hook again pretty soon after I used it the first time, but I'll change up something about the video, such as the visuals or the page from my book that I'm showing, for example. So there are lots of different ways you can change it up while still not having to restart from scratch. So it can be really easy to do. It does take time though. So in the first few months, you might find yourself spending more time creating content because at that stage, you are still learning what is working for you. If you are an author curious about using TikTok to sell more books, I have an entire comprehensive guide with video tutorials called the Book Talk Blueprint that I will link in the description of this video. Over 2,300 authors have used this guide to see more sales on TikTok, and I've personally worked one-to-one -one with dozens of authors now to see more success. So that's why I wanted to refilm this video for you and share some new insights. And if you are another type of creative that is not an author, stay tuned because I am working on a TikTok for creatives guide that is just for you that should be out soon. So I'll make sure to update the description with that link whenever it is available. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are on TikTok, feel free to leave your handle below so I can check it out. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.